Hi, welcome to the Ask Dr. Khan Show, where you're just one whiteboard away from solving the health puzzle. Now, I'm Dr. Peter Khan, functional medicine doctor, and on this episode, we're going to continue our, con our conversation around the brain immune gut access and how dysfunction in one area leads to dysfunction in another. Last week, we talked about how gut infections and gut inflammation actually drives more gut inf infection and cause a vicious cycle. So I'm going to continue that conversation. So here we have gut inflammation. So gut inflammation meaning that your gut lining is inflamed. Now the gut lining is only one cell layer thick and it generates its own inflammatory cytokines. Cytokines are immune messengers or text messages sent by your immune system to tell your body that you're inflamed. So you can have inflammation in the gut due to food sensitivities, due to toxins, medications, uh, processed food, as well as infections and even stress. These are all things that can have an insult or create problem that can trigger gut inflammation. Now, once you have gut inflammation, what happens is this inflammatory response will actually start to shift your immune system. So here you have a T helper two, and here you have a T helper one. So the T helper two cells are the cells in your immune system that make antibodies. And T helper one are the cells that are the killer cells. So what happens is when your gut becomes inflamed, it actually starts to increase the T helper two immune system. So your immune system has two branches and start becoming teeter totter where this side of the scale become heavier and heavier because there's more activity. You start tilting your immune system out of balance. This is what we mean by your immune system's out of balance. So the T helper two immune system become more active and the T helper one killer cells becomes less active. So you get this immune Im imbalance that lead to this decrease in killer cell activity. Guess what? If you don't have enough killer cells, you can't get rid of gut infections. Really, we should just say infections, period. So infections gonna start to increase because you can't fight it off. Now this infection could be bacteria, viruses, fungi, or mold, and parasites. Because your immune system can't get rid of them, the infection load started to get heavier and heavier. They become more expansive. They start to expand, okay? And as that happens, what happens is this infection can actually come back and trigger gut inflammation again, right? If this is happening in the gut. Now this can happen in anywhere in the body, especially hollow spaces. I talked about hollow spaces, meaning your sinus, your lung, your bladder, your gut, even the vaginal tract. So then you start to get UTIs, you start to get vaginitis, you start to get yeast infection, you start to get sinus infections, you get upper respiratory issue, and you get gut infection. So, this gut inflammation from stress and food and medications and processed food trigger this immune imbalance, causing a decrease in killer cells, causing your body to become more easily infected, or you cannot fight off an infection, then this infection will come back and trigger more inflammation in the gut, and this becomes a vicious cycle. Not only does this inf infection triggers gut inflammation, know that this gut inflammation can then trigger other responses, such as systemic inflammation. So not only do you have low, it started with inflammation in the gut. Now why does inflammation start in the gut? Because that's where you put stuff in your mouth several times a day, you eat, so things get into your gut, if it's processed food or chemicals, it's gonna have a deleterious effect on the gut. Now this gut inflammation, of course, this doesn't stay in the gut, and I talked about in other videos when I talk specifically about leaky gut, which is what happens when you have gut inflammation. 
and that leaky gut basically triggers this double whammy of malabsorption and inflammation. And now this inflammation starts to spill into systemic inflammation, meaning everywhere, right? Nothing's ever localized because every time your heart pumps, the blood flows, all these inflammation chemicals get carried throughout the entire body. So now you have inflammation all over. This may show up as pain and achiness and stiffness and puffiness. If it's in a joint, you get arthritis. If it's in the thyroid, you get thyroiditis. So wherever it is, if it's in the brain, you get brain inflammation too then you can have brain fog, fatigue, depression, can't focus, short-term memory loss. So this becomes systemic. Now the problem with that systemic inflammation is gonna trigger other things. Now before I get into that, you have this infection here, remember, can trigger more gut inflammation. Remember, if you have infection, this infection can also trigger more systemic inflammation. Because anytime you have an infection, you're activating your immune system. You're activating that part of your immune system. Now, are the soldiers, the cops, who are there to protect you and get rid of the bad guys, and as they become more activated, this can actually activate more inflammatory process in the gut and systemically. Let me grab some here. Okay, so now, sorry for leaving the frame here. Uh, so here, once you have systemic inflammation, this inflammation response can be mediated, mediated by what's called NF-kappa B. Now the NF-kappa B is a nuclear transcription protein that, that lives inside every single cell in the body that when it senses signal from the environment that shows that there's inflammation, that these guys will sound down the alarms. They'll trigger an inflammatory response. And this is what's the, called the common final pathway for inflammation. All inflammation eventually leads to inside every individual cell with the cell saying, Oh my God, red alert, red alert, we're under attack. And these NF-kappa B trigger that inflammatory response within the cell. Now the systemic inflammation can trigger what's called STAT3. And STAT3 is a protein family that basically triggers autoimmune. And the way it does that is that it basically causes these cytokines, remember cytokines are immune messengers, that send text messages to each other. And actually, some of these can actually mature and differentiate into other immune cells. So maybe you have naive T cells. Literally, naive T cells means a T cell that's just ready to go. It can become any other T cells. It can become any other immune cells if it receives the signal, a text message from the cytokines. So the STAT3 will send messages to the naive T cell to become these T helper 17 cytokines. Now the T helper 17, these are actually specific type of white blood cell that triggers the autoimmune tissue destruction. So T helper 17 is what actually damages the tissue. This is when people have rheumatoid arthritis, these T helper 17 cytokines is what causes the joint deformity. In people with Hashimoto's thyroiditis, this is what's causing the thyroid follicular cell destruction. In people with MS, this is what's destroying the myelin sheath. So the T helper 17 is really the bullet, right? It's the bullet that causes the actual tissue destruction. But who's firing the bullet, right? Who's the, the shooter? It goes trace all the way back, and we can trace a lot of this stuff back to gut inflammation, which starts the immune imbalance causes you to have immune system weakness, less killer cells, which cause more infection, which further drives this gut inflammation and drives systemic inflammation. And the gut inflammation itself drives systemic inflammation as well, which will trigger STAT3, these special type of immune proteins, to get the naive T cells to become this type of immune cell. And this type of immune cell's job is to destroy tissue. Why does it destroy tissue? Why would your immune system destroy your own tissue? Well, isn't that what autoimmune disease is? Why would it do that though? It's doing it through a mistaken identity. Remember, you have this Th17 cells. Normally, what are they there to destroy? It's there to destroy these guys, the infections. These are the bullets, right? They're the stuff that actually burst the cells. They burst the pathogen. They actually destroy these things 
So their job is to destroy the bad guys, normally. And especially in hollow spaces. So remember I said earlier, hollow spaces will be sinus, gut, your lung, your bladder, right? Other than these areas, everything else in your body is all filled in with tissue or fluid or blood. So these are actually spaces within your body that are filled in with just space and air, right? So what happens is these hollow spaces are prone to infection and the Th17 cells are there to destroy them. So what happens is when your immune system gets out of balance, then these Th17 cells will start to create inflammation in these areas. So people get sinusitis, right? You get gas, dry, gastritis or colitis, right? All your itises, your lung, you get bronchitis, your bladder, you get your cystitis, right? So if you have any of these issues that's happening on a recurring chronic basis, you're taking your antibiotic, you're taking your drugs, you're taking your medication, you're even taking supplements and it's not resolving, it's not because you need to just kill, kill, kill the infection, it's because maybe your body can't do it because of this immune system imbalance that happens due to some type of inflammatory response. So this becomes a big puzzle that we need to solve one whiteboard at a time. And I'm teaching different pieces of it, but I'm really getting close to tying this all together. Remember, a lot of this has to do with what we call the brain and the gut axis. So here's brain, immune, and gut. So they work interconnected like in a triangle. And I've been spending a lot of time this year on podcast interviews, on summits and various interviews, and even webinars talking about the brain and immune gut axis and how dysfunction within one area leads to dysfunction in another area. Last week I talked specifically about the gut and how gut inflammation triggers more infection due to this immune system weakness and then you get this vicious cycle. Today, on this episode, I talk about the immune system and how the gut inflammation and infection then triggers systemic inflammation, and the systemic inflammation triggers this T helper 17 autoimmune destruction. Now, how does it lead into? Final block right here. This all leads into autoimmune flare. So when you have this process, the systemic inflammation, and the activation of STAT3 and TH17, eventually you get this autoimmune flare-up, which is what you experience at the very end. You feel the fatigue, the brain fog. You feel the, the thyroid problem. You feel the, the inflammation in your body, the joint pain. That's the end result, folks. That's here. But you gotta be able to work your way back. And many of these processes, there's not really a drug for it. You just gotta fix it, right? Through nutrition, lifestyle change, detox. detox and that's what I do with our clients in our virtual online functional medicine program, where we do the right test, we identify the root cause, and I take you and I put it in this equation, and we figure stuff out together. And we have a team of nutritionists that will help you, give you customized meal plan, recipes, get you eating correctly, and we use the right supplements, we do the right detox based on lab tests, pre and post lab testing. And this is how you get people out of this vortex, out of this you know, sinking hole where it gets worse and worse because this is what happens. And if you didn't understand this, of course you didn't know how to fix it because you just fall to something on Google. Oh, this, I read this internet article. It tells me this supplement's good for cystitis. Well, is it? What's causing the cystitis? And maybe not the bladder, maybe the fact that this whole immune system is out of balance. We haven't even talked about metals. We haven't even talked really much about toxins. We haven't even talked about the brain, which we will talk about next week when we finish this brain immune gut connection, how this is all connected. All these blocks will be connected to the brain. That's what we finish next week. In the meantime, if you need help, please schedule a discovery call. This is a free 15 minute discovery call where you speak to a member of my staff, okay, my team, and their job is to find out what symptoms you have, what is your main concern, what are your obstacles? What are you trying to accomplish that you're not able to accomplish so far? So we can see if our program is right for you. Not everyone is right for our program. We don't take every client on because some people don't want to do the work. If you're looking for a magic pill, I don't have it. If you're looking for a partner, a partnership with a doctor, 
you're looking in the right place. You're looking in the right person to take you through this process. So it starts with a discovery call to find out if this is even gonna work for you. If so, then have hope. There's light at the end of the tunnel. You can get better. You just need a partner, a relationship with a doctor who cares, who also knows how to work this and we're willing to do the, you know, write tests and find out things for you and walk alongside you to support you in that process and have the tools and resources available. So again, start with a discovery call. Please go to askdrcon.com slash uh, hope, I'm sorry, slash get dash started. And I'll put the link right here. In fact, I'll write it right here for you. How's that? It's askdrcon.com slash get dash started. Easy enough, right? So you go to that web page and you're gonna see, hey, the first step is gonna be this. And you're gonna click on a link, which will take you to a link to schedule a discovery call. This is free 15 minutes. Don't abuse us, one per person. If you're an existing client, you don't need this, you're already taken care of. This is for people who are committed to getting better, committed to the process, and just interested and wanna find out how they can get better. Okay, so go to askdrcon.com slash get started and schedule a free discovery call. And we look forward to speaking with you. In the meantime, if you like this video, if you feel like this helped you, please share this with as many people as possible on social media, YouTube, email it to people, because only by knowledge do you even know what to do. Now, knowledge by itself is not enough. You also gotta do the necessary things, and that's what we do to help you so that you have that support and accountability. But you gotta share knowledge first. This is how you have hope, then you have clarity, that's the first step. Share the video, and I look forward to seeing you next week at the Ask Dr. Khan Show. Take care.